Are you okay? Do you see bugs on my face? Do you feel boxed in? Drawn out? Do you hear wind noise? Maybe you should watch Arizona Desert Dog on YouTube. It'll fix that. We're off on a little trip here to a place called Mormon Lake, Arizona. And uh, instead of our usual fare, we are headed to an expo called the Overland Expo. If you're a frequenter of ADV rider, gets discussed on there a little bit and it's about uh, adventure motorcycling and I'm assuming dual sport also never been there I've read about it for two or three years now and piqued my interest I'm just going up to spend the day it's actually a four-day camp out there's classes and tutorials and um, expositions and stuff like that i'm really going up on the last day but uh i wanted to check out the vendors and um just get a flavor for it maybe next year i'll go the whole thing i don't know uh, i've heard good and bad things about it so uh once again hop on a pillion and uh get set for another arizona adventure Well, we're on, uh, we're actually on the back way to I-17, trying to make a uh, low stress day of this, um, which is untypical for one of my vlog rides. I'm just out for a good time today. Um, normally, uh, my uh, vlogs, if you will, they're not really a vlog in the essence of uh, most of these guys that do it. But uh, most of them are a 600 mile or so round trip between five and 700 miles or more. And uh, to get there, and I don't expose you guys to this, I'm usually burning up uh, interstate asphalt. Um, so today I'm, I'm taking New River Road as a little back road, uh, low stress deal. This is gonna be a, uh, mostly a road ride. And uh, like I uh, mentioned earlier, it's going to an event here. So it's nice, I don't have the GPS in front of me. Um, and all the other gigas I need to, to make sure that uh, I'm tracking. I do have my spot with me, I do have that on. Um, and I do have my cell phone, just like everybody else. But. Uh, um, this is like the back way to I-17. It's a nice little easy going road. Today's only going to be about a uh, uh, around a 400 mile ride round trip, something like that. And then we're going to get to spend some time just walking around the uh, expo. I'm hoping that they let me uh, use my camera in there. But if not, uh, there's some interesting roads. We'll uh, throw a little bit of that in there. Um, definitely need some low stress uh, low stress stuff. I mean, I don't get me wrong. Uh, riding motorcycles and uh, Showing where I go and talking to you guys is uh, definitely, uh, definitely my passion, and uh, and I enjoy doing that, and it and it's uh, definitely a stress reliever. But uh, lately, it's one of those points in uh, in your career where uh, everything's happening from all different angles, and uh, the only thing I can really say is thank God for miracles because that's the only way I can explain some how some things are resolving themselves. So uh, here we go. I'm going to take off. Well, this is where we get onto the 17. Um, 
next road uh, next road uh, we'll jump on is uh, the 260 so uh, see you in a couple minutes so we're on uh, we're on the next leg of our adventure here and uh, within this time span of a uh, a fade we've uh, traveled about uh, 45 or 50 minutes and about uh, 62 miles um, up the I-17 which is super slab but it's probably the nicest super slab I've ever been on view wise and um, it's got some uh, some curves to it that'll, that'll keep you awake and we are on uh, General Crook Trail and this is going to take us from the I-17 over to uh, the 260 which is also part of General Crook's Trail um, the reason for that name is uh, something we'll explore in a uh, video over the summer. I've got a couple of things planned. Um, while this is a paved road and we're actually going on a, a state route highway um, and it's part of General Crooks Trail, it actually turns into forest roads um, or General Crooks Trail turns onto forest roads up north. So. Um, here we are, and uh, heading up to heading up to Mormon Lake. This is the uh, intersection of 260 and uh, 87. 87, I don't know where it stops being at, but 87 is the Beeline Highway when you come up out of the valley. Um, 87 ends up in Winslow, Arizona as far as I know. We're jumping on to a road with many names. Uh, there's state routes, county routes associated with this, and there's also two forest routes that, uh, well, two names for the same thing uh, that I'm more familiar with would be, um, they either call it uh, Forest Highway 3 or Fire Highway 3. It's a main, main uh, thoroughfare, if you will, up through, uh, Coconino. This thing in front of me is uh, not a military vehicle. It's a freaking badass camper. I'm gonna try to get uh, get around him here, but this thing's like a jacked up pickup kind of thing with a. Uh, I mean, you could take this thing anywhere. Let's see if we can see it. Well, before we go over to the uh, to the expo, which is uh, directly over that way. I can see all the uh, campers and stuff like that from here, and apparently it's uh, replete with BMWs and mil spec campers. Um, I just wanted to take you up to this overlook and show you uh, Mormon Lake, and today is a red flag day, and it's stinking windy so I'm gonna put the uh, beast drum on the center stand but uh, this here's Mormon Lake um, from way over there all the way back you may say uh, where's the water um, there's no water here um, There's some there from uh, from the winter runoff, and 
you uh, don't see a whole lot during the summer here. I don't know. There was a there was a good sized lake here at one time, um, and I'd have to do some research. I've heard things like uh, Fisher opened up underneath somewhere. They think because of the weight of the water and water drained out. Who knows? It's gone now, so uh, no more fishing up here. Um, if you look uh, straight up there, uh, that mountain up there is uh, the San Francisco Peaks up by uh, Flagstaff. So without further ado, I'm jumping back on the V-Strom and uh, heading over to the uh, Expo. Hey, there's me! Well, this is the village of uh, Mormon Lake. I like to come up here. Uh, I camp far away from here, and it's like kind of like a destination ride for me. Uh, whether it was the Rhino or ATV or the Dirt Squirt or even the V-Strom, uh, there's all kinds of uh, forest roads, dirt forest roads that lead into here uh, from from the uh, Tame to the uh, mild to the almost wild uh, there's some pretty bouncy roads to get in here this is a camping area associated with uh, Mormon Lake Lodge and uh, right up ahead here it is Mormon Lake Lodge there's some adventure bikes for you Bias of day pass here. Good morning, how are you? Not too bad. Twenty, right? Looks like they got folks camping right out on the, uh, well, what used to be the lake. There's a few dual sports. A beamer. Who'd have thunk it? So we uh, made it all the way to the uh, Overland Expo, got the bike parked, and uh, it's so windy up here, I'm going to have to use the drift as a hand cam. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll walk around. I've got a map, but I'm more of a discovery person. So we'll see what we uh, stumble upon. They've got a uh, four-wheel drive uh, off-road course set up around this little... Uh, a little pond here. I saw Range Rovers before. These seem to be uh, FJ Cruisers. They got a pretty good, uh, pretty good sized camping area. They've got this whole general vicinity here, which is the camping ground for the rodeo. And then across the way, there's more, uh, more camping over there, out on the lake. So it looks like I'm coming into the uh, the vendor area, and uh, it's pretty good size. It's probably 60 acres or something like that. Pretty good size vendor area. It's kind of mostly what I came up here for, just to get a flavor. If it's uh, if it's any good, I'll probably uh, maybe uh, visit this uh, next year. This is one of those vehicles I was talking about, and uh, actually he's got a ADV rider sticker on the uh, on the door. But this is one of those um, mill spec campers I was talking about. Probably you and parting with two hundred and fifty thousand uh, gets you a nice little camping rig. Casey Lights has a pretty good setup here. Um, not too much on the bike side, I don't think. I, I used to use them on my uh, my four wheelers and stuff. And uh, of course, they're uh, right out of here in Arizona. 
this is a rooftop camper. This is pretty cool. Looks like a little uh, storage box. And then you open it up and uh, got yourself a little tent on top of your uh, top of your deal. Nice. Just need to find a way to mount it to my helmet. There's uh, quite a few of these uh, tourist or tour type things. Um, who knows uh, where that one goes, but got your ubiquitous uh, survival gear, MREs, long-term storage, jerry cans, that kind of thing. Benchmade knives got a little display here. If I could afford one, I'd buy one. So I've missed some of the vendors. Looks like some folks have cleared out. I mean, it is the last day and Sunday, and I, I knew that, but uh, um, still quite a few here. Looks like they got a pretty good population of vendors. Uh, not a whole lot I'm seeing yet of uh, adventure bike or dual sport related stuff, although they kind of bill it that way. Um, I haven't seen all that much. The rig for you. I wonder if you could put this behind a KLR. Big theme seems to be roof mounted campers. This one's even got a, uh, what do you call them, Fourier? <laughs> a little ladder you get up to the top and it's all covered in. Here's the apparel place we'll walk in here and see what's going on. Well, I think we'll we'll skip there. Uh, pants are eighty-five dollars. I don't think my whole wardrobe of pants is eighty-five dollars. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, at least they parked some bikes over here. We got a couple of Beamers. Yep, couple of Beamers. Looks like a sport bike type of deal. And hey, there's a CRF 250L over there. Now we're getting into my country. I'm seeing motorcycles. Well, here's the Urals. I was, I've always been curious about these things. I mean, I've uh, seen them. I've done the uh, seen the tryouts at the uh, bike show, you know, bike shows and rallies and stuff like that. But they just seem to be more expensive than uh, than they're worth to me. I mean, you're talking 15 grand and things only good for 70 miles an hour at this point they've gone to a, uh, a fuel injection system um, and the slowest speed on the roads around my place is about 45 miles an hour so you're almost tapped out right on the secondary roads even the twisted throttle folks are here looks like they got some of their project bikes Go AZ Motorcycles, looks like a BMW dealership, KTM dealership. Motorcycle underwear. There's Climb. This is the uh, someday where I don't think uh, that kind of price range is uh, desert dog approved. Here's an interesting uh, setup. Tiny Bikes Big Challenge. Looks like they've got old uh, Trail 90s and uh, CL100. It's like giant loops here. They got some good stuff. Um, they're uh, Wrap around saddlebag is uh, something that's on my list, that's for sure. Now, are you running these both stock? I would recommend one of two Looks like they got a uh, motorcycle venture tour company here. 
raw hides. If you like to ride on a BMW, I guess. Seat Concepts is here. Everybody knows Seat Concepts, I'm sure. Well, NTA would be happy here. There's a, there's a Revit, Revit uh, tent here, too. I think there's uh, another loop of this stuff on the other side. We'll take a quick walk through. Yeah, Team Fox is here. Shocks, gear. Looks like they got a line of uh, Rotopax type things, too. Okay, this is on my, um, if I ever win the lottery list. Local Motors um, off-road vehicle. Uh, it's like a Porsche for off-road. These things are just absolutely wild. You and if you want to part with your hundred grand, you're uh, you'd be set to go. So as I uh, as I walk around here. Um, I see a lot of stuff for sale, but I don't see anything that's like super good deals or anything like that. I would have thought that uh, seeing the uh, manufacturers here and stuff like that, they'd have some uh, spectacular uh, prices, but apparently not. There's an outdoor uh, cooking demonstration. Looks like they uh, they sell camp kitchens. Thing here uh, seems to be every description of uh, camper you could think of or apply to. They sold uh, World War II Willys Jeep. Here's the uh, Overland Expo uh, shanty. Like, uh, Land Rover's got a uh, little waiting area if you want to go out and try one of their vehicles you can hang out in there and listen to them sell you one. So uh, I'm done shopping. Actually, I'm not much of a shopper uh, unless I know what I want. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go see if I can't find some place to do something on motorcycles. If not, I'm probably done. Um, I think you would probably have to do an extended stay to get a lot of benefit and get on some of the tour rides, which I could probably lead most of them. I'm so familiar with this area. There's an interesting way to dry your gear. Let it walk around for you. Just one guy up here with a V-Strom, a little DL650. I think I found a little expo area over here that's, uh, looks like they got a little rodeo track set up for adventure bikes. We'll uh, check them out, see if there's anybody with any talent over here. So this is normally the uh, rodeo corral. And they've got, uh, they got some berms and bumps and things like that set up. Looks like it's a little bit of instruction, a little go out and fart around kind of thing. I don't know if you have to rent the BMW, if you can take your own deal in there. So what have I learned about the Overland Expo? Um, it's pretty cool, I guess, if you're a certain mindset. Um, I'm mostly into uh, going someplace if I want to spend time off and go ride. Um, if you're into shopping, if you're into uh, instruction, stuff like that. Um, pretty good place. Looks like they've got some tours around here. But if you're from the area, it's probably, probably not worth it. Um, I mean, as far as the vendors go, it's uh, high-end gear, obviously. The uh, Overland magazine's like a $20 magazine, um, and uh, the gear's all uh, very expensive, $400 pants, that kind of stuff. Um, out of my price range, um, not for me, but uh, if you uh, are out of state and uh, ever wanted to come to Arizona, they got some pretty good tours and stuff like that and little events uh, that are going on. So. Um, that's it so far. So I'm going to go out and uh, see if I can't find a uh, decent place to ride. Um, 
maybe I'll hit Stoneman Lake and head over to uh, I-17 that way and head home. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the road. So right behind me is uh, a little uh, off-road course they got set up for uh, Range Rovers. Um, the action's a little bit too slow for video. Sure, probably makes for good for uh, some still shots, but uh, not a whole lot of action here. Well, it looks like some more bikes showed up. Got a Triumph Tiger 800 KLR parked next to the V Strom, and uh, same old uh, BMW that was there before. So, I'm gonna jump on back on the bike, and like I said, I'm probably gonna hit Stoneman Lake Road on the way home. Let's see what the adventure is to uh, get out of the parking lot here. <laughs> well, this here is uh, Stoneman Lake Road. And uh, this cuts right across to uh, I-17 through the forest. Not that we're not in the forest, but uh, a little dirt action today. We figured uh, coming back from the expo, we'll get a little uh, get a little dirty. Uh, coming up on a little overlook of uh, Stoneman Lake, we'll swing in there really quick. Well, here's Stoneman Lake, and uh, I know what you guys are going to say. There's no water in it. You people in Arizona are crazy. You guys got lakes with no water, creeks with no water, and rivers with no water. Well, it is a desert, but this is Stoneman Lake. It's got a little fill up there from the winter runoff, but... Uh, both of these lakes dried up uh, years ago. Well, I hope you enjoyed the adventure today. Um, it was, uh, wasn't bad. Um, not really my cup of tea. Uh, not really uh, as bike friendly or bike orientated, I should say, as I thought. Um, but all in all, it was, uh, it was good to, uh, you know, get up there and get the experience of it. And, uh, Good to see that uh, someone's bringing some commerce into Arizona, and uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you on the uh, the next uh, Arizona adventure. <laughs>